this is your homework help for the inverse trig worksheet. And so we're going to just work through these problems. The first few problems are answering both in degrees and radians, because that's good practice. And so we take a look at the ratio here, and we notice that it's negative. And for inverse sine, we are using quadrant 4 when it's negative. So we draw a reference triangle in quadrant 4. And when you see square root 2 over 2, you can change it to 1 over square root 2. It's unrationalized version. And that way you can label those as your side lengths. So quadrant 4, 1 on the opposite. We can make that negative 1 since we're going down. Square root 2 on the hypotenuse. And so hopefully we recognize that as a 45 degree reference triangle. So we're going to give our angle as negative 45 degrees. Or in radians, we would say negative pi over 4. Okay, number 2. Um, arc sine means the same thing as inverse sine. It's just a different way to write the exact same thing. And the exact value is positive, so that means we're going to be in quadrant 1. So draw a reference triangle. Opposite is 1, hypotenuse is 2. So that means that we have a 30, 60, 90 triangle, and the reference angle is 30 degrees. So theta is 30 degrees. And if you want to put that into radians, it is pi over 6 radians. Number 3. 3 and 4 are both inverse cosine. And when inverse cosine is positive, it's quadrant 1. Negative, it's quadrant 2. So we have a positive 1 half, so it's quadrant 1. Reference triangle. Okay, so then we draw the triangle and we label the adjacent with a 1 and the hypotenuse with a 2. So the square root 3 is over there. That means we have a 60 degree reference angle. So our angle is 60 degrees. Or when you put it into radians, it's pi over 6. Or sorry, pi over 3. Pi over 3 radians. Okay, now we have a negative and um, Inverse cosine would be negative in quadrant 2, but if it's negative 1, that's going to be a quadrantal angle. So if you picture where cosine is negative 1, that would be all the way over at 180 degrees. So we don't have a reference triangle for that. We have 180 degrees as our answer, or if we're answering in radians, it's going to be pi radians. Number 5 and 6 are inverse tangent. And so when you're working with inverse tangent, you're going to use quadrant 1 if it's positive, quadrant 4 if it's negative. So this one's negative, so we'll use quadrant 4. Reference triangle. To make it into a ratio, think of it as negative 1 over 1. So we have negative 1 on the opposite and 1 on the adjacent. So hopefully we recognize that that's going to be a 45 degree reference triangle. So our angle is negative 45 degrees. And when we put that in radians, we get negative pi over 4. All right, arctangent of square root 3. Square root 3 is positive, so we're going to be in quadrant 1. And we can make it a ratio, square root 3 over 1. And so draw the reference triangle. Opposite will be square root 3, and adjacent will be 1. So hopefully we recognize that that is a 30, 60, 90 triangle, and we have a 60 degree reference angle. So theta is 60 degrees, or in radians, it's pi over 6. Uh, sorry, said it again, did it again, pi over 3. Pi over 3 radians. Okie dokie. Now we move on to part 2. So these are a little bit more involved, and they don't necessarily involve 30, 60, 90s, or 45, 45, 90s. So we start with the inside part, the inverse sine of 3 fifths. So 3 fifths is positive, so we're going to be in quadrant 1. We draw a reference triangle. Put a 3 on the opposite and a 5 on the hypotenuse. Now we don't really want to find that angle, we just want to find the cosine of that angle. So we're going to need to know the adjacent as well. We can give that angle a name if we want to. We can call it theta if you really want to name that angle. So now we're trying to find the cosine of angle theta. And so let's find the length of x. We can use the Pythagorean theorem x squared plus 3 squared equals 5 squared. Hopefully you realize that this one's going to be 4. 3, 4, 5. Okay. So now that you know that, 
you can go back and find the cosine of the angle, and the cosine of the angle would be 4 fifths adjacent over hypotenuse. Same idea for number 8. So we're going to start with the inside. We could call that angle theta if we want to. And we have a negative ratio, so that means we're going to be in quadrant 4 for inverse tangent to be negative. So we draw a reference triangle in quadrant 4. The opposite would be negative 12, and the adjacent would be 5. And then we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the measure of the hypotenuse. And that's going to be 5 squared plus 12 squared equals x squared. It turns out that x is 13. It's another Pythagorean triple. Okay, so now we're ready to find the sine of the angle. And the sine of the angle is going to be the opposite, negative 12, over the hypotenuse 13. All right, number 9. Same idea. Doing the inside, we can call that theta if we want to. And we have a negative value for cosine, so we're going to be in quadrant 2 when cosine is negative. Draw a reference triangle in quadrant 2. Label be adjacent with a 1, a negative 1, and the hypotenuse with a 3. So in order to find the tangent of the angle, we're going to want to um, find, the op find the opposite side. So let's call that x. And so we can use the Pythagorean theorem, x squared plus 1 squared equals 3 squared. So x squared plus 1 equals 9. So x squared equals 8. So x is the square root of 8. We can simplify that. That's 2 square root 2. All right, so now for the tangent, we want the opposite, 2 square root 2, over the adjacent, negative 1. So that's just going to be negative 2 square root 2. And then the last one, the sine of the arc cosine of 2 fifths. So 2 fifths is positive, so we're in quadrant 1. Draw a reference triangle. 2 on the adjacent and 5 on the hypotenuse. And so we're going to find the sine of angle theta. So we need to know the opposite side. So we could use the Pythagorean theorem. 2 squared plus x squared equals 5 squared. So 4 plus x squared equals 25. So x squared equals 21. So x is the square root of 21. So based on that, now for the sine of the angle, we do the opposite over the hypotenuse. So that's going to be square root 21 over 5. There you go.